Let's talk about capes for a second. Yes, I said capes, you know, like the ones superheroes wear. If you're older than 10, you probably don't walk around with one unless you're extra or it's the end of October. But for those of you young and old who turn heads with a colorful cape while walking or flying down the street, you can likely blame those funny looks on old time comic books. Comic book covers entice readers with images, and the interior pages deliver a double dose of dramatic graphics and stories. Who better to share comic book history with than someone who has been reading these stories since she was a child? Donna Braden, curator of public life at the Henry Ford. What was the first truly successful comic book? It was Superman. Okay. Superman dates all the way back to the 1930s. He was invented by two teenage boys. Their names were Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. They lived in Cleveland. And they were teenagers when teenagers they created it. Teenagers when Super they created it. This character would live a dual existence, one with powers and the other as an ordinary man. So there were these two personalities of this superhero. It's a new idea. People loved it. Now, this is happening in the 1930s, pre-World War II. How big a role does the time that this is taking place play in the success of Superman in comic books? Yeah. The time of comic books has a huge influence on the types of comic books and the interest that people have. They're very interconnected. The idea that a, a larger-than-life, invincible character uh, could save the world and the ending was always happy and that appealed to people during that time. Is the term superhero coined with the introduction of Superman? We actually have seen early sketches that Siegel and Schuster did about 1935, Then they have actually written out on that piece of paper, super-hero. And we think that's the first time that that word was used. It was really a new idea. Comic books are geared then towards kids early on. Does censorship come into play then? Censorship does come into play because comic books are bypassing parents and teachers, and parents are getting a little concerned. So in 1954, comic book companies created a self-censorship board known as the Comics Code Authority, and it lasted for 50 years. It was during this time that a different kind of character was brought to life. Stan Lee came up with this idea that he would create a new kind of superhero. A, a more introspective one? It's more introspective. Also, superheroes that people could relate to better, particularly teenagers. These superheroes had flaws, they questioned things. Vulnerability. Vulnerability, they, they had definite personality. Comic books encourage imagination. They left space sure. for people to imagine. To fill in. To fill in. And that's what I really loved about comic books and still think is, is a wonderful quality about them. 